Have you been surprised of Trump's assault on CNN and what some people would say the First Amendment? Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect it to be this vitriolic. I didn't expect it to be this ugly. Um, I interview, I've interviewed him many times. That interview that, that you saw, that moment from that interview in that clip was the last time I interviewed him. So I have, I had, uh, you know, 10, oh, okay, half a dozen successful interviews with him. And in that one, he had said that he didn't think that we should have gone into Afghanistan. He had said it a month before that moment. And I had the transcript of it. I, in fact, I had the tape of it that I could have played back for him, but we just didn't have it queued up. So I just happened to have the transcript in front of me. And by the way, okay, so he didn't like that, as you could hear. He, he said, no, 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 that's not what I said. Didn't, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, it's not what I said. And after that, he blacklisted me. He would no longer be interviewed by me. Uh, he would only be interviewed by Chris Cuomo, my co-host. And after a few more rounds with Chris, he stopped being interviewed by Chris. <laughs> and then he stopped being interviewed by CNN altogether. So that told me he doesn't like to be challenged. He doesn't like, by the way, that's not a gotcha question. I was quoting back his words to him. And furthermore, I was interested that he said that we shouldn't have gone into Afghanistan. That was an interesting, I, I wasn't, I'm curious about that. That's an interesting take. You don't often hear politicians say that. So I wanted him to expound on that. Um, he didn't want to. So I am surprised by how, how bad it's gotten. I didn't expect us to be called enemy of the people um to have wrestling videos <laughs> as though he were vanquishing us and beating us up and all of that stuff you know but where do you think that's coming from <laughs> i'm asking you to be a psychologist now but wh why why do you think this constant daily barrage um i guess that he likes good news. I guess that he likes to be painted in a favorable light. I guess that he likes his own reflection to be reflected back at him. I mean, I... But all the, but a lot of the interviews you did in the past, you didn't give him his reflection. You were honest, you were tough, you were challenging. And then they ended. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was allowed to be like that at CNN. Where once right. I got to CNN, well, first of all, a couple things. I interviewed him several times when I was at Fox. Well, he loves, still loves Fox and Friends. He does love Fox and Friends. And he was on, look, when... More when, than the show. Well, for sure. And when the history of all of this era is written, I think it was that standing appointment that he had, a standing slot on Fox and Friends, that allowed him to make this foray into the presidential race. Right. Because, yes, he was a celebrity. Yes, he was, you know, a bon vivant around... Uh, town, but that's when he became a pundit. He became sort of a political pundit once a week on Fox and Friends. He had this slot, and he would opine on things, and uh, it got great ratings, by the way. People were interested in his take in things and, and what he had to say. So it became this, you know, symbiotic relationship. It got great ratings. They kept having him back. It got great ratings. They kept having him back. Then he all of a sudden was could pontificate, and then his popularity went up. I mean, it was it became this sort of, you know, uh, circle. And um, anyway, so I interviewed him, okay, when I was at Fox several times, but he wasn't running for anything. And mm -hmm. by the way, when somebody's not running for anything and they're just sort of coming on to opine, you don't hold their feet to the fire mm -hmm. as much. Then he got into the race. Now you hold their feet to the fire. By that time, I was at CNN. He came out a couple times and then he didn't want to anymore. So uh, that's, that's my, that was my evolution or devolution with interviewing him.